And then the last couple points that I'd like to, to talk about and discuss on the framed versus frameless architecture, and again, there are many, many of our competitors have that frame-based architecture today on their SANs. And again, these are SANs where you have to purchase a specific model number of SAN. Right, they have different model numbers, different numbers there, so the majority of those SANs can grow to a specific amount of drives. With Equalogic, with our frameless virtualized architecture, a single Equalogic group can easily grow to more than 600 terabytes easily today. A couple points on the frame-based SAN. First and foremost, your frame-based SAN goes up to a fixed number of drives, and you have two storage processors. So even as you add more and more drives to your frame-based SAN, adding spindles or drives doesn't always equal adding performance that you need for your applications. Today with VMware or Hyper-V or Zen Server, if you would like to give your virtual machine more horsepower, what you do on the server side is you give that virtual machine more processor and more cache. Well, on a frame-based SAN, even if you give it more drives and add more drives, you're still going through those same two storage processors. Also, frame-based SANs, features and functionality are licensed separately. And then not only that, as an example, snapshots, clones, remote replication, thin provisioning, advanced management, all of those, any, any of those features and functionality are licensed separately from when you buy the storage processors and the disks. Not only are the features licensed separately, but you have to pay software maintenance per feature. And something else that not a lot of people know today is some features are licensed based on a fully loaded SAN. And what that means is, as an example, let's say you purchase a SAN that can grow up to 120 drives. And for the next couple years, you only load up uh, you know, 30 to 60 drives. Remote replication and some of those other features are actually licensed for a fully loaded SAN. So you're actually paying more because you haven't fully populated that SAN with those features and functionality. Also, with a frame-based SAN, three to five years from now when you're ready to upgrade or, or move to a new frame-based SAN, it's a forklift upgrade. Or there's a, uh, a migration that could take days or weeks and that equals downtime and you may have to have someone actually fly in from somewhere and provide those services. So migrating or up upgrading from one frame-based SAN to another frame-based SAN is going to cause downtime. And then lastly, for frame-based SANs, I like to call it death by nickels and dimes. And again, all the features and all the functionality with a frame-based SAN, you have to pay for. So there can be hidden costs. You purchase a brand new SAN, you implement it all of a sudden, you need advanced features like snapshots and clones, advanced integration with those snapshots and clones with VMware or Microsoft Hyper-V or Exchange or SQL. That's, that feature and functionality wasn't looked at as a requirement during the initial purchase of the SAN. You have to go back to management and now you has to have to ask them if for even more money, right? With Equalogic's frameless or virtualized SAN, when you purchase the Equalogic array, everything is included snapshots, clones, remote replication, thin provisioning, advanced management, advanced integration. When you purchase a SAN, you should get everything included. You should never have to go back to your manager and say, whoops, right? You should never have to go back to your partner or Dell and say, oh, I'm adding Exchange 2010 or some new type of virtualization solution. How much is that going to cost? And oh, by the way, not only do you get everything all of the features and functionality when you purchase your frame, your frameless virtualized architecture and, and with Equalogic, but all updates and future release, releases, there's no additional cost. So again, there's, there's absolutely no hidden cost with the Equalogic array. And as we looked at a little earlier, whether you have one physical Equalogic array or 16 physical Equalogic arrays or members, within that virtualized group, that virtualized architecture, Equalogic will do all of the automatic and dynamic load balancing for you. Between drives, um, within Equalogic arrays, between Equalogic arrays, even between the Equalogic um, arrays with it, the Ethernet interfaces, the Gigabit Ethernet interfaces on the PS4000 or the PS6000. So again, Equalogic will do all the automatic and dynamic, and dynamic load balancing for you. 
because of the frameless virtualized architecture, when you're ready to buy another Equalogic Array, if you've even purchased a single Equalogic Array and it's three to five years down the road, you can buy a brand new Equalogic Array, make sure that both are on the latest firmware, and it's a seamless upgrade and migration without any downtime whatsoever. So you add the new Equalogic Array to your existing Equalogic group. You can simply go into Group Manager or the Management Interface, right-click on your three old array, and simply say Delete Member from Group. And when you do that, the old Equalogic Array will copy all of its data to the new Equalogic Array in the background. And again, because of the frameless virtualized architecture, there is absolutely no downtime when we do that.